Hello and welcome to another video from In3D Software. Today we're going to talk about um, a different type of angled shelf, an X style uh, shelf for wine racks. So we've had a request from a couple of customers asking what would be the best way to make this type of thing. So as with any type of product that we design using the iOS software, you have to think about how you're going to make it in real life because we're actually making a one-to-one -one digital recreation of the actual parts that we're going to be making because we're going to be sending them to production via the software. So in this case, what I'm going to do is create a shelf with a, an interlocking joint similar to this so that I can have the two pieces slide together with uh, without any fixings and then it's going to stay um, nice and secure and stable. So in order for this to work, it needs to be a perfect square so that it's always going to stay at 45 degrees. And if I just hide my menu here, here's one I've prepared earlier. So you can see in here I have my bottles of wine all nicely in position. And then I've got my shelves in here with this sort of beveled 45 degree uh, angle uh, to the side panel and to the bottom to create this 90 degree mitre style cut here and then if we just simply select those parts in here what i can do is now in real in the real life my wine bottles would fall all over the place so we don't want that but i can pull out my parts and you can see in here now i've got this style of interlocking cut that's now been um added to that piece of wood so how do i create this well if i get rid of my product i'll just come into here and press delete on that i'll create a new one from scratch so if we go up to the article designer it'll bring through a cube and that's important because like i said we want this to work as a square so that it's perfectly at 45 degrees so i'll just retain that size of 500 by 500 but you can make yours whatever you want. I'm going to add in a top, bottom, left and right and then when I click tick that's going to give me my four-sided box. So you, as you can imagine you could make this as, as big as you want with multiple fixed shelves in here if you wanted but I'll just make one as if it's a, a singular part on its own. So I'll right click and modify the product and go in and then what I'm going to do is come down to my options in here where I'd have the shelf and I'm going to use this grey cube to create an independent division. This is going to double up the internal aperture, one on top of the other. And in this one, I'm going to rename it as shelves and open this up. And then what I'm going to do is add another side panel within here. Okay, so initially you might think that the best way of doing this would be to add a, a, a horizontal shelf, but actually what we're going to do is put a piece of wood in here at the side and then we're going to angle that piece of wood 45 degrees. So we'll go to the trim section and type minus 45 and that will then effectively tell that part to fall over. And then what we want to do is say that this should have an inset of minus 9.5, which is half the thickness of my material. And if I look at this now from the front, you can see that it's now working in here perfectly into 45 degrees. Now, I've already made a specialist part for this application, so I'm going to go in and choose that now. And if I come up to the top, it's this one here, which has got the uh, D symbol in here for my edging constraints. So let's have a look at the part. I'm going to go to the part, and you can see it's got edges on two and four. And when I open this up, you can see that that is a double mitre profile. So this could be done on a, on a table saw, it could be done with a CNC, it really doesn't matter and it will all depend on how we want to set up the manufacturing side later on. But I've now got my mitre that's going to go into my corner. I've applied that to both edges and then I want to look at the machining. So up here I have my machining button and you can see I've actually put in a slot in here as a milled groove and you can see the settings in here make sure that that's always going to stay in the middle it's going to break out the back and it's always going to overlap in here as well and that's important because of the radius of the tool in here we want to leave an air gap in between so that we've got a bit of tolerance so now that i've got that part into position i can click apply and bring that in and then if i turn on the new feature here called show construction what that's going to do is show the part 
and you can see in here I've still got this uh, part that needs to come in and that's because of the trim so if I come in and say that that should be trimmed perpendicular top and bottom you can see now I've got my edging in here but it's too far away so I can use the top to say 9.5 and that will push that up into position and then in the bottom it's too far so I can say minus 9.5 and that will pull that one back so in here that's looking good so now all I need to do is simply copy that part so I'll copy and paste those entire settings on top of each other onto the other side but what I need to do is just change um, one thing which is to go to the actual part and say that that is now on the right hand side and that will reverse those parts so now when I click tick if I now increase my parts so I can come into here oh, I need to modify that last part there and say that that is a left side there we go I've now got my um, slots interlocking with that uh, gap in between and then like I did before I can grab that shelf and pull it out so that would simply slide out in that direction and this would then slide out in this direction and these are my edging tapes left behind in here but that's okay we don't need to worry about those so that is how I would make those wine uh, style shelves that interlock with each other and if I just refresh it'll put it back together for me now how do I get the wine bottles in there well the way I do that is by knowing exactly how big I want my shelf to be and then stacking my wine bottles up in a file so if I open I have gone to my purchase DWGs in the library so I've got a list of all of my different types of drawings and I've got one in here called wine bottle X stack and all I've done in here is position the bottles next to each other so that they look like they're stacked on top of each other with the effects of gravity and then I know that this reference point here is where I want to position it so if I go back to my shelf I can go in modify my product go to the second article designer group down at the bottom in here and then say that this should be a DWG file choose the YNX stack and then say that that should be positioned in X or left to right as one to one in the middle and then leave everything else as it is and then when I click tick that's now positioned my wine bottles wherever I want them to be so I'm now free to make my products and copy them to make as many of these as I like thanks for watching